TV show and reruns and you hear that theme song, you just think of us. Thank you. Jeff Lehman, our uh, keyboardist and musical director, he's going to do uh, a tune that he wrote now. It's called uh, My Heart. It's called My Heart Wants to Believe You. A cancellation of all my plans, plain excuses. My Heart Wants to Believe You was recorded, you know, in my studio. This version here is a live version, and this is the live version I played with Elliot Lurie in Looking Glass. It was recorded September 2nd, 2006 at the Cannery Casino in the northern end of Las Vegas. We were doing a all-star-studded show there, and we used Gary Queck's Temptation Horns, Gary Queck. His horns backed the Temptations, the later day Temptations. So they did a really good job, and it was really cool to have horns on the song. So this is the only version that actually has horns, and I hope you like it. There was a stage, there was a stage. that was connected. was connected. One side love, one side, love. One side hate. One side. Some took stage right, and some took stage left. Some play the part just to fool the rest Regardless of which side is in a stage Everything must change Everything must change Everything Must Change is from a radio airplay standpoint, my most successful song. It gained 200 plays in Switzerland in a major market, and that was something that was incredibly unprecedented even in 2003 and 2004 when it was getting airplay for an indie artist to have that kind of a, a dent on a major market. And the song, funny as it seems, I wasn't even going to put it on the Layman Terms CD. And I was playing it in the basement, mixing it. It was actually one of the last songs I recorded. And my daughter, Tara, came down. She says, Daddy, I really like that song. Are you going to put it on the CD? And I thought about it for a moment. I said, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll put it on. So I wasn't even going to put it on. She kind of convinced me to put it on. And it was the only song that had that much success. It, none of the other songs on the CD had that much success. And it, funny as it seems, too, I didn't send a lot of promotional material over to you know Switzerland or, or Europe or Asia or any of that over there I it was very limited because I really didn't think I was going to get any airplay and I sent most of it in the United States and Canada and lo and behold nothing happened in the United States and Canada but in Switzerland I gained over 200 plays I got the royalty check Neil Rubin the Detroit Free Press did an article and a few other papers did as well and it was a lot of fun
Don't Look Back With Regret was my second most successful song from a radio airplay standpoint, and it was played in Sarnia in 1997-1998. The song actually was written about my relationship with Debbie Sutter when I went to her wedding in 1986. And, you know, we got along great and we had a conversation that, well, you know, things didn't work out, but let's not look back with regret. You know, you are marrying and stuff and, you know, life is just going on. So she was the inspiration for that song. And that's where that song came from. Um, it was sent to Eric Carmen a long time ago, back uh, around the Dirty Dancing era when he was busy with that. And I did get a response back from him. He thought it, you know, the singing was good on it, liked the tune, but he thought it sounded too similar to other stuff that he's already did. And, you know, he didn't end up doing the song, but, um, you know, at least I got a response back. So I was really happy about that. The place that I live is called No Easy Street. No silver spoon did I ever eat. No Wall Street Built from Soul was my duet with Charles Davis of the Contours. And how this all came about is pretty strange. I was doing a show at the Entice Lounge in Detroit uh, doing piano show, and he was in the audience. And he came up, he introduced himself to me, and I said, hey, why don't you just come on stage? I know, do you love me? And, you know, I'll just introduce you. People will freak out, and they sure did freak out about it when you actually have the guy that does the song with the group, and he's singing it there. So it went over really good, and we decided, hey, man, let's, let's, uh, let's do something. Let's, uh, let's put something together. So I decided to write this song. I had him in mind. And, you know, my wife Donna helped with a lot of the inspiration on this song. And we put it out in 2013, but I have did a couple of remixes on the song. So this version that's on this CD is a remix that was done July 15th of 2020. So it's a little different from the others. <laughs> Obscured by Light was released originally in 2010, and it's actually my favorite mix. The mix on this song I thought really, really came out nice, and I used some effects at the end on Judy Shire's voice where she's holding out a note. She actually wasn't holding it that long, but I stretched it, and I, it morphs into a whole bunch of effects and everything. So that was done in... I had a good time doing that. The mix came out good. The musicians were really good on it. Cat Orlando did the cold lead vocal with me. 
and she also did sax on it. My dad, Bill Lehman, played drums. And he actually came up with the syncopated thing at the end, which was um, a counter rhythm kind of thing, which really was cool. He came up with the idea, so I can't take credit for that. And there are no guitars on this song either. I was going to add guitar, but I ended up beefing up the keyboards and putting a lot of little licks and percussion in it. Mark Holzani does some very subtle congas and shakers and, and things like that on the song as well. It was a lot of fun. One more time Living day by day Going nowhere Just looking out for you One More Happy Ending Scene was written with Gary Penns, myself, and we wrote the song around 2015. The song has been released on the Population 3 Absolute Zero CD. It's also been released on the City Lights Band Attachment Unavailable CD. The version that's on the City Lights CD has an a cappella beginning where the other one does not. That's the only way that it differentiates between the two. And it also was released on the Dan Droder CD. Dan Droder was my cousin who passed. If you The Lizzie McGuire theme, I sang that live with Looking Glass featuring Elliot Lurie. And this version is from the Cannery Casino in Northern Las Vegas. We had the um, tempta Gary Queck's Temptation Horns playing with us that gig. Uh, the song also features Elliot Lurie kind of coming in on a little bit of a cold lead vocal with me. Eric Mackey on bass, background vocals, Craig Williams on drums, and I really enjoy singing that song live, and I'm hoping that uh, when the COVID situation improves here, Looking Glass featuring Elliot Lurie can get back out there playing some gigs, and I can do that song. 